name is Sarah Afis and I'm doing a PhD with the Chemistry Department at the University of Leicester. I was doing a summer work experience placement with ISD, the International Association for the Exchange of Students for Technical Experience, funded by the British Council, which was for a duration of four months. I was attracted to this particular work placement because it fit in between the end of my degree and the start of my PhD. It was an international experience that I could go to Poland and visit another country. I, it involved meeting a lot of people from around the world and it involved learning about the lab, working in a research lab and gaining skills that I could build on in my PhD. The skills and the benefits that I developed during the work placement were that it was a culturally enriching experience. I was able to work in a research lab, learn about the environment and gain technical experience and skills from which I could build on in my PhD. I was also situated in Poland so I was able to learn a bit of the language and use it in everyday life and the main advantage was that I was also paid. A typical day consisted of arriving at work at 9 o'clock via a bus and a tram at the Medical Biology Centre of the University of Łódź. We researched in a lab which focused on the molecular study of non-pathogenic mycobacteria using specialised techniques I studied in my degree, which in other words means we were trying to find a cure for tuberculosis. I met researchers who had collaborations with Japan and UK to solve one of the world's top problems. At the end of the day, around four o'clock, I'd meet up with my friends, have dinner, and then we'd socialise at bars and clubs. I highly recommend a summer work experience placement, especially in an international context, as it will help you find your niche career. It is a snapshot of what life would be like if you chose that career. It was useful for my academic studies and my research skills and in the international context it was a culturally enriching experience that I will cherish.